Dear brothers and sisters, wish you a very blessed Lenten season. Let us reflect today about the significance of a tree in the biblical context. Very interestingly, the Bible begins with a tree and ends with a tree. In the beginning, God made all kinds of beautiful trees in the Garden of Eden and in the middle of the garden there was a tree of life, a tree that gives knowledge of what is good and what is bad. The serpent on the tree tempted Adam and Eve, thus through the tree sin entered the world. This tree is altogether gets a new significance in the New Testament that Christ died on the cross for the forgiveness of sins. Thus through the cross of Christ, the immortal tree, the life love and redemption enter the world. The history of our salvation is intimately linked to the existence of trees. Trees not only play an important role in the Bible, they also feature heavily in Christian art and science. Trees not only serve an elegant background, they are also used for an aesthetic purpose. Some trees also carry traditional spiritual meaning and other trees give fruits with the seeds in it. For some trees produce oil that is used for fuel, cooking and lighting. Other trees are used for medical and for beauty treatments. Some trees are used for shade, building and construction purpose. Some other trees for perfume and incense. but some trees are very poisonous too. Some names of the trees like fig, sycamore, cedar, cypress, oak, olive are recurring in the Bible again and again. But above all, trees signify God's generosity to us in abundance and variety. In the book of Genesis chapter 2, verse 8 to 9, we see that God planted a garden and gave Adam the responsibility to tend it, which means to manage it properly. Adam was asked to take care of it. Today, this responsibility is passed on to the entire humankind. Therefore, trees need caring so that it contributes to the overall welfare of humankind and greatly help to reduce global poverty. For hundreds of years, planting a sapling in honor of a loved one's passing away has had a great significance in Judaism as well as in other religions. In Palestine, trees were planted for children born during the previous year. A cedar is planted for the boy and a cypress is for girl. Upon their wedding, branches from both trees are used for the wedding ceremony. Dear brothers and sisters, St. Francis of Assisi is an example par excellence of care for the vulnerable trees and ecology at large. It is an urgent challenge to protect our common home that includes also concern for trees the church at large and the Diocese of Mangalore in particular set before us an urgent appeal to seek concrete solutions to the environmental degradation. Let us use our talents to address the damage caused by human abuse of God's creation. Today, millions of trees cover the hills that were once a desert lacking in forestation. You can participate in the planting of saplings for your own reasons let us participate in reinvigorating the Mother Earth whose trees have been fallen down without mercy, which led to the ecological crisis. God breathed into our nostrils a breath of life. During this Lenten season, let us breathe life into the world by planting more saplings to add life to the earth. Let the cross of Christ the immortal tree blesses all. Amen.